Jared in the dark. Hi, and welcome. This is Shiprot, and today's Let's Play is going to be looking at a game called Hive. It's a PC version of a board game by Gen42, and this PC version is available on Early Access on Steam at the moment, currently £4.99 or your local equivalent. There are versions of this game available for Android or iOS, but I've got to stress, this is for far more accurate representation of the board game. It's still in early access, so not all features have been implemented, but most of the game is here, and the online play works flawlessly through Steam. The AI is spot on, and the game plays really well. Also, Blue Line Studios, who produced this game, or developing this game, um, pretty active in the community at the moment and been really helpful uh, fixing bugs and uh, listening to um, the community's feedback. So let's see what Steam says about this game. It says officially licensed version of the Mensa Select award winning board game. Hive is a board game with a difference. There is no board. The pieces are added to the playing area thus creating the board. As more and more pieces are added the game becomes a fight to see who can first capture the opposing queen bee. The game mechanics are really quite simple, but it's a very addictive casual game. I've had this game for a few days, maybe a week, I think I've racked up 12 hours, which is quite a lot um, given it's a casual game and I've also been playing Hearthstone, so um, it, it just proves the, the replayability of this game. Okay, so we're in the um, menu screen, usual menu things. Um, there are rules here, and I did read through most of these rules before I started playing, but um, to be honest, the best way to showcase this game really is to, is to play it, and you, you start to understand it the more that you play it. Uh, when you play, you can play versus the computer, you can uh, have two people playing on the same machine, playing pass and play, take it in turns or two players with controllers. Uh, the online has just started, so people are just picking up on that. Uh, but I have had a few games online, and um, that's terribly enjoyable. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be white, just so that you know which pieces I am. And um, we'll have a random first move. Uh, difficulty levels go from brood all the way up it's a hive mind and of course because it's a steam game there's lots of achievements through steam um, linked to difficulty and ways of playing I think the achievements are really well done in terms of they test you about your tactics the longer that you pl use certain um, pieces or so many pieces in order to win a game um, uh, to win an achievement I mean uh, so I, I really enjoyed those, uh, going through those. Um, okay, so we're going to start the game. And so Black got first move, the computer got first move, and he plays an ant. As you can see, we've got ants, we got beetles, we've got um, hoppers, my queen bee, and my spider. Okay, now, um, as you can see, the lovely little 3D models, you can move the camera around with your arrow keys and take a better look at that, it's pretty creepy giant ant on the board ok, um, I'm going to start with a hopper, I like the hopper and, and he places his queen bee the queen bee um, has to be placed by the fourth move, uh, but uh, reading some of the guides online from the board game, it, it sort of generally advises you not to play by the fourth move but um, entirely up to you so I'm going out with my, with my queen here. Um, during the game, everything has to be linked. So I couldn't move my hopper now um, because that would break the chain, the links of the chain here. He could play his spider, uh, his queen. I can move the queen because it wouldn't break the link. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm just having a look at this because his spider can go one square. They can move three. They have to move three squares. So he can go one, two. He could get me spider in behind my queen here. 
which will trap me in. So I'm going to play a little defensively and move my queen. So he's not completely trapped me in. Um, I can't move my queen now because that would break the chain. Okay, so I'm going to play <coughs> my ants. Soldier ants, the, I like to call them soldier ants. The, the ants, uh, they are soldier ants, aren't they? I'll have to have a look at that. Um, they can uh, move to any square uh, as long as it's they're able to move into that. Um, I'm going to pin his queen now. Now he's moved a hopper in here. Now this hopper can hop over to an empty square, but it can only hop on these uh, faces of the hexagon. So he he's trying to get that into there with, with there, and he's got his other hopper that can move in move in there. Um, what I can do is I think I will play. I'm trying to hold my my ants off because um, they're, they're they're probably the most powerful one of the most powerful pieces because they can move to any square. So I'm having a look at he's he's going to move there. Um, I mean I could play very defensively and block his um, hopper from moving. Um, so let's have a look. Um, Let's play defensively and see what the AI actually does. I mean, this is quite a low level, but to be honest, sometimes I, I make really daft mistakes. And um, but though he's not, he's not been able to get in here, and he's not been able to. He's had to put more pieces out. Um, I think what I found is the more pieces someone loses, the less they, that they have to use, the better chance you've you, you kind of got. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out. A spider. And that's worked out quite nicely for me because he, he's not really going to be able to move anything of this. And I can get my spider in behind his queen bee, which blocks him in. He's got no escape route. He's piling up the pieces here. He's really quite stuck. So I. I, I um, I mean, I could be surprised, I could be missing something, and, you know, please comment about uh, the gameplay. I'm not, I ain't no, I'm not a master at this. <laughs> I certainly don't profess to be. Um, I still have... I'm going to bring in the... Um, I'm going to bring the hopper. And I see he's piling, he's piling these things up. He can't. He's gonna try and block my ant here, I think. No, if of him, yeah. I think he's gonna block my ant, but I am only left with needing three pieces to. Um, to, to win. So I might not need that on. Yeah. He's he's he blocked my on. I need I need that. That's okay. Um I do need only three pieces when I'm gonna bring in my beetle. Okay, so as you can see the the pieces the ants can move anywhere. The spiders have to move three spaces. Queen bees can move a space. You, um, the beetle's a little bit of a different piece. It, it can move one square, but it can also move on top of um, other players. That stops them moving. Also, if you get a beetle on top of the queen, it means you can actually put pieces out around the queen. It's quite a quick, aggressive tactic. Um, doesn't always pay off. So he's wanting to get in there. I still have one, two, three, four pieces, um, three to him. He's only got... Um, I'm going to put an ant out. So the reason I'm putting it there is so that if he moves in somewhere like that, <clears throat> I'm going to shift my ant. 
Uh, he's got his final lantern, he's got no pieces left, he can't really move anything, so we should have him here. I'm going to save this unless he goes around and puts that ant in there. Um, I wonder if I can get a hopper in somewhere useful. Uh, I can't get a hopper into... I can't see that. Uh, so if I don't want to use this piece, I just click in an empty space, which it says at the top there. I'm just going to move in on him, because, I, I, yeah, okay, yeah, we are playing at the lowest level, <laughs> so the AI isn't the brightest in the world, um, I, I just need to play a hopper, that's, uh, so the, that's, that's, that's a game in, in the next two moves, so the, the um, hopper can move in here, unless he blocks my ant. No, because he's, he's the lowest level AI. And there we go. So as you can see, that, that was the lowest level um, AI against the computer, you know. Um, so he's not going to be the best, but it does give you an idea of what the game is. and, and when you get up to the hard levels, they do, the AI does make you really think, and especially when you're playing online against another person, it becomes a real battle of defending or attacking. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, um, hope you click subscribe, and um, maybe we'll do some more Hive soon. Thank you very much, and goodbye.